Hello. I'm here to present the honorary Oscar to Sidney Lumet, who has been directing movies for almost 50 years. It's not the years being honored, it's the quality. And isn't quality the measure, the measure of an artist? From 12 Angry Men, to The Porn Broker, to Dog Day Afternoon, and all the years since and in between, a Sidney Lumet movie has a signature, a stamp of individuality, a point of view, a feeling. John Ford, Alfred Hitchcock, Robert Altman, they have a signature, a character, if you will, that make you want to buy a ticket, see their movies. And it's that character which has defined a Sidney Lumet movie. It's real, kinetic energy. You were there as the story was being told. I remember as a kid watching Jason Robards Jr. in a fabulous performance in a television production of Eugene O'Neill's The Iceman Cometh. I was so inspired by it, it influenced everything that followed in my life as an actor. It was directed by Sidney Lament. And then I was lucky enough to be directed by Sidney. What does a director do? To quote Sidney, a director directs. He directs you where to go, what to do, sends you there in mind and body. The script instructed me to rob a bank. Sidney told me exactly where to go, what to do, and there I was robbing a bank. He made it happen. If you prayed to inhabit a character, Sidney was the priest who listened to your prayers, helped make them come true. I used to love to watch Sidney direct, and so did others. I mean, a self-propelled torpedo, a whirling dervish on a set, fast. He brought you to life in rehearsal, and then he got you ready. And when you were ready, you didn't have to act because the process of becoming the character had already been set in motion, and Sidney was the camera. As an old village poet put it to me in the 60s, if you dig it, it's yours. I dug Sidney Lumet back then. I dig him now because what he had to give, I took and made mine. I'm forever grateful, along with all the other actors and writers who have benefited so much from Sidney's genius. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sidney Lumet. Thank you, thank you. You're very kind and I thank you. Uh, from the time I did my first movie, I, needless to say, like everyone else, started to fantasize about Oscar. And uh, I was lucky enough to be nominated on the first movie, so I started to fantasize about the speech. And I was a real smart aleck, and I thought I would say something like, uh, I don't want to thank anybody, I did it alone. I wasn't true, but I thought it'd be a way of getting a little attention. When Frank Pearson called me about receiving this one, of course I started thinking about the speech again. And I realized that if I totaled up all of the thank yous that you know, I've heard in all of these years, I wouldn't be able to thank all the people that I really want to. It's, and I, I'm not just talking about the glorious talents that I've worked with on both sides of the camera, but there are so many with whom I've never even worked that I owe so much. I mean, how do I thank Spielberg and uh, Scorsese and Coppola? And how do I thank Jean Vigo and, and Carl Dreyer and Willie Wyler and Kurosawa and Buster Keaton? And I, I, I'm not mentioning the ones that I really stole from. What about the Epsteins for writing a line like, here's looking at you, kid? Or Wilder and Diamond for, well, nobody's perfect. 
or Farago for Mother of God, is this the end of Rico? So what I guess it comes down to is I, I'd like to thank the movies. I know that sounds general, but it's very real to me. I've got the best job in the best profession in the world. So I just want to thank all of it. And of course, the ones who paid more dues than I have. Thank you, Pidey, Amy, Jenny. See you later.